heating effect. Now heating effect or uh, heat test, uh, okay, is used to identify negative ions on here, okay. And the four negative ions that we need to know is carbonate, nitrate, sulfate, and chloride. So the heat test is on, on only only on uh, nitrate, carbonate, sulfate, and chloride only, uh, okay. Uh, let's start with this overview first, uh, overview. This one just a just a simple guide only, yeah? okay. Just a simple guide only, but uh, it's not always true. It's true for most of the carbonate nitrate, sulfate, and chloride, yeah? okay. But for certain certain carbonate nitrate and sulfate and chloride, uh, the result may be different, okay. For example, sir, if you heat carbonates, most probably you will get carbon dioxide gas, okay. But sometimes you won't get carbon dioxide gas also, okay. Uh, I will give you the uh, the detail list later. For nitrate, if you heat it, then you will get uh, nitrogen dioxide gas, eh? most probably. Okay, sometimes you you, you don't get also. Okay, uh, sulfate. Okay, if you heat it, most of the sulfate are not decomposable. You heat it, nothing's come out. Okay, but uh, for certain sulfate, you heat it, then you will get sulfur trioxide gas. Eh? And uh, chloride, uh, most probably no effect. Okay, almost all the chloride you heat it, there's no effect. Okay, except ammonium chloride. That is the overview. Eh? Overview. I'll give you the detailed result eh, for this heating effect later. Heating carbonate for uh, potassium carbonate and sodium carbonate. Oh, now take note that eh? okay, this list here is given according to the reactivity, eh? reactivities of the metal. For example, potassium is more reactive than sodium. Sodium is more reactive than calcium, and calcium is more reactive than magnesium. Okay, so this is arranged according to the reactivity and for the two most most reactive uh, metals potassium and sodium uh, is carbonate is carbonate uh, not decomposable it's not decomposable by heat eh? so if, if you heat it nothing happens eh? okay it's not decomposable so put a dash here okay these are the two most reactive metals eh? their carbonate are not decomposable okay and for uh, other carbonate from calcium to copper from calcium to copper if you heat it it will produce uh, carbon dioxide gas for example calcium carbonate eh? calcium carbonate if you heat it it will produce uh, carbon dioxide gas and this calcium carbonate it, it itself it will become calcium oxide for other carbonate, if you heat it, it will decompose. Okay, it will decompose. The carbonate will become oxide. Yeah? So calcium carbonate will become calcium oxide, and at the same time, uh, carbon dioxide gas is released yeah? from calcium carbonate, magnesium carbonate, aluminium carbonate. Okay. Okay, so this answer, aluminum carbonate, you heat it, you, you will get aluminum oxide and uh, carbon dioxide gas and uh, copper carbonate, if you heat it, then you will get copper oxide and uh, carbon dioxide, okay. Um, now since uh, one of the product is the oxide, okay, so you need to know the colors of the oxide, for example, uh, calcium oxide is white in color, aluminum oxide, uh, white in color, copper oxide is black in color, okay, so you need to know the colors of the oxide yeah? iron tree yeah? okay uh, iron tree oxide is brown in color yeah? okay you need to know iron tree oxide is brown in color okay then we have this uh, mercury carbonate and silver carbonate now these two these two after you heat it for example silver carbonate yeah? silver carbonate ag2co3 yeah? a silver carbonate if you heat it uh, you will get Carbon dioxide gas, okay, you get carbon dioxide gas, and at the same time, you will get magnesium, uh, this silver oxide, okay, you will get silver oxide. But this silver oxide, if you heat it, you continuously heating it, uh, then you will get silver and oxygen gas, okay, silver and oxygen gas. Huh? So, means that if you keep on heating, huh, okay, this silver carbonate, you will get silver, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. Huh? So, you will get 
uh, silver, okay, and oxygen and carbon dioxide gas. We have two, okay, two silver, two, and then four, and uh, two carbon gas. Okay, so that is the equations, uh, equations. So for uh, mercury carbonate and silver carbonates, uh, if you heat it, okay, if you heat it, then uh, you will get you will get the metals, oxygen and carbon dioxide gas, okay. F but for aurum carbonates, uh, aurum carbonates, sorry, this is not aurum, so it's um, ammonium, ammonium, uh, aurum, aurum actually is under this group, uh, aurum carbonates. Mercury carbonate, silver carbonates, and aurum carbonates. Eh? Aurum is gold, eh? aurum carbonate. So it's under this group. Uh, for ammonium carbonate, eh? ammonium carbonate. Okay, so when you heat it, you will get ammonia gas and you will get carbon dioxide, and at the same time, you will get water vapor. Ammonia gas, carbon dioxide, and water. That is the heating effect of amo uh, ammonium carbonates. Uh, ammonium carbonate. Uh, this one. Okay, ammonium carbonate. That's what you get. Okay. Let's balance the equations. Okay, so we have two ammonium, so therefore we are going to get two ammonia. Two ammonia. Okay. And then so carbon dioxide and water. Okay, this is a balanced equation. Okay, so that is the heating effect of uh, carbonate salt. Nitrate salt. Okay, let's start with um, ammonium nitrate. Eh? Ammonium nitrate. Ammonium nitrate, if you heat it, okay, let's write the chemical equation first. If you heat ammonium nitrate, NH4NO3. Okay, so if you heat it, um, so the symbol for heating is a triangle, okay? Uh, you will get N2O, N2O, okay? This N2O is a gas, eh? okay? It's a gas and also water, okay? N2O. Now, what is this N2O? This N2O is called uh, nitrous oxide. Eh? Uh, nitrous oxide. Uh, you can also call it nitrogen one oxide. Eh? Okay, you can also call it nitrogen one oxide. Nitrogen one oxide. The one shows the is uh, indicates the oxidation number. You are going to learn oxidation number in form five. Eh? Okay, so you heat ammonia, ammonium nitrate. You get nitrous oxide and water. Then how about potassium nitrate and sodium nitrate? Potassium nitrate and sodium nitrate. Now, just now, potassium carbonate and sodium carbonate, when you heat it, nothing happens, okay? It's not decomposable by heat. Eh? But for potassium nitrate and sodium nitrate, if you heat it, it will be decomposed, okay? It will be decomposed, and then uh, gas is released, eh? gas is released. So let's write the chemical equation first. Uh, potassium nitrate, KNO3, okay? KNO3. If you heat it, okay, it will become KNO2. KNO2, and at the same time, the uh, oxygen gas is released. Eh? Okay, to, to balance the equation. Now, what is this KNO2? Uh, this is called potassium nitrite. If we do not put this G here, okay, so we will still get a mark, yes. In exam, eh, when you write chemical equation, you don't need to tell the state. The gas, whether it's a gas or liquids or aqueous, you don't need to tell that. Uh, actually, you are not advised to, to put the state, okay? Why? Because if you put the state, uh, like G, uh, aqueous, okay, gas, aqueous, uh, liquid, solid, uh, you wouldn't get any extra mark, okay? You wouldn't get any extra mark. If you do not put, okay, fine, you get full mark. If you, you put, you wouldn't get any extra mark. But if you put and you get it wrong, Okay, suppose this is gas, and then you write, uh, let's say you write liquid, okay, then the mark will be deducted, okay? So, you are not advised to put the state of the matter, okay? So, when you write equations. Okay, let's come back to this uh, heatings of potassium nitrate. Eh? So, 
potassium nitrate, you heat it, it becomes potassium nitrite. Okay, now what is nit nitrate nitrite? NO3 negative, this is called a nitrate ion. This is nitrate ion. NO2 negative, this is nitrite ion. Huh? Nitrite ion. Okay. So you heat potassium nitrate, it will become potassium nitrite. Huh? Potassium nitrite, let's write here. Okay, potassium nitrite. And uh, at the same time, so oxygen gas is released. Okay. And uh, so does this uh, sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate. Huh? Okay, so if you heat it, NaNO3, hit it, it become uh, NaNO2, okay? And uh, oxygen gas is released. To balance the equation, we put a coefficient 2. So this is the heating effects on nitrate, the ammonium nitrate and uh, potassium nitrate. Okay, then how about calcium nitrate, from calcium nitrates to uh, copper nitrate? Uh, when you heat calcium nitrate or magnesium nitrate, let's take the examples of magnesium nitrate, Mg, NO3, 2. Okay, magnesium nitrate, you heat it, what will you get? Okay, you will get the oxide, magnesium oxide. You will also get nitrogen dioxide gas and also oxygen gas. So two types of gas that will be released uh, if you heat nitrate. Okay, nitrogen dioxide gas and uh, oxygen gas. Okay, so uh, calcium nitrate also the same. You heat calcium nitrate, you got you're going to get calcium oxide, nitrogen dioxide, and oxygen. Uh. Aluminum nitrate also you get aluminum oxide, uh, nitrogen dioxide, and oxygen gas. Okay, and so does this uh, iron three nitrate and lead two nitrate. Okay, now this nitrogen dioxide gas, uh, it is an acidic gas. So you can test it by using litmus paper. You use blue litmus paper to test it, and the blue litmus papers will turn red. The moist uh, blue litmus papers, okay? Uh, another way to identify it is to see the color. Because nitrogen dioxide gas is, is a brown, brown in color, okay? Uh, this one shows uh, nitrogen dioxide gas. Eh? So it's brown color gas. It's a brown color gas. Means that you heat nitrate, yeah, you heat nitrate, then uh, it will release uh, some gas, eh? okay, and uh, you will see that, that the brown color gas will be released. Okay, so iron three nitrate, Fe, NO three three. After you heat it, it will become Fe two O three, NO two, and oxygen gas is released. Then we put four, eh? four. Then this is two. So this become 12, okay, and then uh, this become 2, let's see, 2, 3, so it should be 3, okay. I think magnesium nitrate also we need to balance um, 2, okay, put a 2 there. 2 nitrogen dioxide gas, eh? so that is for uh, iron 3 nitrates, eh? iron 3 nitrates, okay, I think just 1 oxygen, so not 3 oxygen, just 1 oxygen, just 1 oxygen, okay. And then lead two, lead two nitrate. Lead two nitrate is uh, similar to magnesium nitrate. Uh, okay, so Pb NO three two, and then uh, PbO plus uh, two NO two plus oxygen. Okay, hold on. I found that uh, it's not balanced. Eh? It's not balanced. Sorry. Okay, so it's not. I thought it's already balanced, but it's not balanced. Okay, because the oxygen is not balanced, uh, because this one we have a uh, two oxygens here, four, six oxygens, uh, plus one, seven, but this one was only six, uh, so it's not balanced. So if it's not balanced, then we put a two here. So then this is two, okay. Uh, then we need uh, four nitrogen dioxide gas, four nitrogen dioxide gas and oxygen gas. Uh, so this one also the same, this is two, this is two, so these are the equations. Huh? You need to memorize uh, the products. If you heat nitrates, you will get oxide, nitrogen dioxide, and oxygen gas. And uh, if you know the products, okay, sometimes they may ask you to tell the observations. Huh? And also sometimes they may ask you to, to suggest a test to test the presence of the gas. Huh? Okay, chloride. 
all chloride salts are not decomposable by heat. Means you heat it, nothing happens. Except what? Except ammonium chloride. Except ammonium chloride. When you heat ammonium chloride, you will get ammonia gas. Uh, this is similar to heating ammonium sulfate. Uh, okay, you will get ammonia gas and a uh, hydrogen chloride gas. Both are gas. Okay, so that's for chloride. Most of it are not decomposable by heat. Eh? 